You snore. Maybe it's a broken nose. Well, looks like you've been busy. Doing what, I have no idea, other than getting your ass handed to you. <sighs> Who are you, human? To speak to me like this? Oh, I'm just another refugee. Like you. But I'm not strong enough to defend the balance. That's your purpose. I... have learned... that I am weak. Well, maybe now you finally understand how all humans feel. Pulled into a war they never asked for. Left to their own devices against forces they cannot possibly understand or effectively fight. All of humanity has been betrayed. And yet, they still fight on. What about you? I strayed from the path. I have been jealous. I have been wrathful. I have been lazy. Ugh, worse and more. All the things the seven sins stand for, and I have paid dearly for it. So in other words, you have lived. Yes. Good then. You're finally alive. And with life, there is always hope. Hope? I was humbled in my battle with Envy. No doubt she's on her way to destroy the Chard Council, even as we speak. And I remain stranded on Earth, so when you speak of hope, human, I cannot concur. All hope is lost. <laughs> no. Haven is built on hope. Come, speak to Ulthane. You'll see. Did they help me? That's, uh, kind of what humans do. And the fact that you send more than a few survivors our way didn't hurt. All for naught. We didn't pull you from the rubble to quit now. Envy holds the power of the Seven. Your betrayal can be seen on your face. Left for dead like some useless discarded thing. But it is not over. A reflecting pool? Aye, with a few adjustments. But it's only meant for you. Will only take you to your heart's desire. I desire only to finish what the Council began. Find your resolve, Horseman. It's all you have now. And it is what you need if you're to stop Envy and unseat your former masters. No doubt fueling the attack on Haven in secret. If you have a plan for them... The time is now. Heaven, Hell, the Chard Council. They wish to see them annihilated. You know this, but perhaps you don't know the reason. Even before the apocalypse, why were your lives so hard? Because you were created for a great purpose and left unprotected. So those who fear you have set out to destroy you 
with false promises and wars and sin that they blame on you. They all fear you. That fear can be used against them. Humanity can win this war. Look around you. This is what's left of humanity, and we are in no shape to fight a war on the scale you suggest. No. You must hide. From the eyes of heaven and hell! The Council? That's exactly what must be done. But what humanity needs more than a good hidey hole is a protector. A protector? Time to shuttle the other humans away. Away? To where? Not back to the council chamber. What sort of a maker would it be if I built a doorway that only connected two places, huh? <laughs> Your heart's desire, horseman. Safe place for the poor and wanted. I don't understand. Aye. Well, you will. Sadly, you will understand it all as you travel with them. <sighs> Me? They are in need of a protector, and you need a new purpose. Am I wrong? in my possession to protect humanity. And one day, we will set things right, together. Uthain, my brother, War, is an innocent in this drama. If you ever find an opportunity to assist him in any way, I would ask you to do so. I will. Thank you, Maker. May our future be one of justice. Aye. Safe travels, horseman. Abaddon rules over the Earth. Heaven and Hell scramble to take their place at the table. And the Council? <laughs> the Council works against the very balance they profess to uphold. Soon, corruption will overtake them all. And only I shall remain. You... 
<laughs> may go.